Okay, so they're asking us what is the chemical formula of a diamond. So diamonds in general, they're allotropes, right? So first of all, what's an allotrope? It's basically, again, if you haven't watched my first um, live stream video for the Q&A session, I've talked about graphite, right? So graphite is very similar to diamond in a way that they're both allotropes, right? A, let's write that down. So they're both allotropes of carbon, right? So they're structural modifications, right, of carbon. So what is an allotrope? Yeah, so I mentioned they're structural modifications of carbon. So basically they're composed of the same element, which is carbon, but the way they're connected to one another just varies. And therefore the chemical formula of diamond is simply C. Yeah, that's it. Um, you don't really need the sp3 hybridization. The only reason why they brought that up is because the way they're connected, right? If you remember for hybridization, right? What does it mean when you have sp3 hybridization? Well, in that case, you're looking at your central atom. For example, this is carbon and it's attached to one, two, three, four groups. Does that make sense? So hybridization of of carbon is sp3 because it, it's attached to four groups which are also carbon and the geometry is tetrahedral or molecular geometry to be specific. Okay. Yeah, this is very similar to graphite, right? So that's the one that I talked about and they're talking about the molecular geometry of graphite, right? And the only difference between graphite and diamond is their molecular geometry, right? So this is trigonal planar. 